Merci. Yeah. Um, actually, the lighting project is a uh, one of a is a one of a kind project. We felt like in Africa, electricity is very needed, and um, ultimately it started as me going into these rural areas and villages trying to do concerts, but there was no <laughs> electricity. So that kind of spilled off into understanding what the development of Africa would be and how important it is for the future of Africa. But ultimately, without electricity, you can't begin to build infrastructure. So to de avoid a lot of the politics within the en energy business in Africa, we decided to go solar, which we felt was the perfect uh, solution for Africa's energy crisis, being that we bless with so much sun. And that's one of the main resources. And ultimately, for the rural areas, it would be a lot cheaper and quicker to create a solution, being that we wouldn't have to extend the grid from the city all the way out to the end of the villages. Um, so, but we realized, too, at the same time, that the educational system here for energy was very poor, and a lot of African citizens wasn't really um, educated to the energy crisis itself. So we decided to create more of an academy to, uh, for all the solar, you know, for every project in every country that we go into, we always hire the locals there to maintain, and we also hire them to do the installations. So we created a, an academy that would train all the locals there to be able to install and be able to maintain all the equipment as we you know, develop and move it forward for each country as it goes. So that's the whole idea of the uh, Solar Academy. Well, actually, I agree. You know, music does change lives. And it does uh, communicate in ways that regular people can't. Because you don't have to speak the language to understand or be able to connect. And with music, it's just something about melody that creates a positive energy in people. And also could create negative energy depending on the type of music as well too, but ultimately it's used for more of a positive uh, approach to be able to build people forward. But my advice to newer artists or anything of that nature is really much just to be yourself. You know, um, try to utilize music as a tool to identify who you are and what you represent because you'd be surprised how many people in the world actually relate to you. You know, because I started off doing music according to my just experiences. And through that experience, I realized there was millions of people that kind of related to my experience. So it, it allowed me to grow a quick fan base around the world, just being who I am and expressing what I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. So ultimately, I think that direction is always the best way to go. Yeah. Um, well, actually, the album is actually going to come out this year, for sure. Um, there was a lot of difficulty in the music business in the last five years. Ultimately, my, al my last album was in 2008. It was scheduled to release during the World Cup 2010 in South Africa. But, you know, there was a lot of merging happening, a lot of difficulty within the business, a lot of people lost jobs. And I got caught up in the midst of a lot of the turmoil in the business. So I didn't want to put out an album with no one to promote it, no one to market it. So I just waited, you know, to let, you know, situations got better. And then because of the projects that I've been doing outside of music, I was able to be in a better position to be able to just, you know, buy my own contract out and put it out myself. So I'm in a position now where I've created a new situation under a new label and it's going to naturally release this year. Hey, listen, I, I was going to Dubai frequently just so they can give me a free pad. I still don't have a one. I'm still waiting for my free pad in Dubai. Uh, my question, uh, what can I say about the collaboration? Well, with Red One, you know, of course, he's, uh, he's like my brother. You know, um, when I first assigned Lady Gaga, he was one of the first producers that I signed out of Africa. And um, we always knew that he would be huge. And being the fact that he was from Morocco, and Morocco at that time didn't have an A-list producer, it ultimately allowed us and also motivated us to make sure that with his talent that he gets to the place where he needed to be. But up, up, I mean, he's just the most talented producer that I know ever. Um, and to this day, he's grown off to become one of the biggest producers in Africa, you know? And ultimately, now he's in a position where he can do things outside of just music. He can involve himself politically and utilize that talent to bigger things. You know, I built my career off helping others build their careers, so I always was in a position where I feel like I'm gonna be blessed either way because I always wanna give people the opportunity that I personally never had. And Red has such a good heart, you know, and he's my brother from day one, always been the same guy, never turned, never changed. And you know, I wish him well in a lot of things that he does in the future as well too. And I think there will be a lot more things that you'll hear from him, but 
to answer your question, we do have um, more collaborations together, me and Red, and he's actually on the new album that I'm about to release as well, so we've done some collaboration on this new album as well. 